10,000 galaxies in one glance. And that sums up what this, this, this camera was able to do. It was able to stare at this one patch of sky for many, many nights at a time. We're gonna create an entirely new type of cloud. I like to call it Maculous Ridiculous. Because it makes you look ridiculous when you make this type of cloud. Seriously, the first thing you have to do is to click your tongue on the roof of your mouth like this. You can see that these beads form as streams of milk break up into individual droplets and then bounce on the surface. But what are they? Then I'm gonna add one again, then subtract one, then add one, then subtract one, then add one, and subtract one. And I'm gonna do this forever. You get the idea of that, I hope. So what does that equal to? If two all-knowing gods descended from the heavens and played a game of Connect Four, because that's what gods probably like to do, I have here a scale model of the first atomic bomb ever used. This bomb, which destroyed Hiroshima, contains about 60 kilograms of uranium-235, of which only about 600 grams underwent fission. Enough, though, to generate an explosion equal to more than 13 kilotons of TNT. Injection molding is the most common method for mass manufacturing plastic products. Traffic is often due to construction, an accident, or bottlenecks created by on-ramps and tunnels. But do you ever feel like congestion just seems to appear for no reason? You aren't imagining it. Finish the can, and you may have consumed upwards of 46 grams of sugar. The receptors on your tongue sense this and send a message to your cerebral cortex, activating the reward center of the brain, which says, more please. The rules go something like this. Inside each theoretical organism, there are two substances called an activator and an inhibitor. The activator stimulates production of both substances, while the inhibitor slows production down. The more activator bunnies there are, the more new bunnies they make. But a bigger bunny population also means more food for the inhibitor foxes. Which means more foxes, which leads to fewer bunnies, which leads to fewer foxes. It turns out that the most likely source for Earth's water is a type of meteorite called a carbonaceous chondrite. Chondrite is just the name given to the class of stony meteoroids that most commonly strike the Earth. But only the carbonaceous chondrites contain water, as well as lots of carbon if you couldn't tell from their name. It absorbs all visible wavelengths of light except for yellow light, which it reflects onto my retina. But the screen that you are using to watch this video doesn't produce yellow light at all. In fact, it can only produce red, blue, or green light. Because you have an infinite number of thinner and thinner slices, when you're done stacking them, the cake's vertical height will be endless. <laughs> it's volume. The amount of cake it contains is clearly no different than the amount you started with, but its surface area is infinite. Batman and the Joker have something in common. Both live their lives as responses to traumatic worldview shattering events, events that represent an existential crisis that most people have to deal with sooner or later. But what's the deal with the PC plotline? One might be satisfied with the explanation that it's Trey Parker and Matt Stone taking a dump on liberal politics as they've done in the past. The two have espoused their libertarian leanings in interviews before, but they often evade a simple left-right divide. If you felt slightly lost in this connection between ads, PC culture, and gentrification, you're not alone, but find solace because we've got an idea, and it all starts with neoliberalism. We would like to give you $26 million. Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. So excited about this video. In the last episode of Smarter Every Day, I showed you my transparent potato gun at 3,000 frames per second during the day. Three, two, one. He had only changed one thing. When you turn the handlebar to the left, the wheel goes to the right. When you turn it to the right, the wheel goes to the left. I thought this would be easy, so I hopped on the bike ready to demonstrate how quickly I could conquer this. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Destin Sandlin. First attempt riding the bicycle. Alright. So, the faster I go, the better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I sure. couldn't do it. You can see that I'm laughing, but I'm actually really frustrated. Is there a border we will never cross? Are there places we will never reach, no matter how hard we try? Turns out, there are. Even with science fiction technology, we are trapped in our pocket of the universe. How can that be? And how far can we go? Are you your body? Well, kind of, right? But is there a line where this stops being true? <laughs> 